Good morning. Happy Friday. And a bit of schadenfreude. I was uh, informed today that our good friend Michael Eline, the failed Marine, the failed member of a motorcycle club, uh, excuse me, never a member of a motorcycle club, despite him hanging on like a dingleberry to the asshole of the club, the failed personal injury attorney who has now turned to civil rights law, apparently, allegedly, don't see any of his cases, but allegedly, wannabe law tuber Michael Eline, who fellates Chile de Castro incessantly, was not chosen once again, once again, by Chile de Castro to represent him. Apparently, some other attorney was uh, tapped by Chile de Castro to specially appear in the de Castro versus Peter et al. California lawsuit. Some things, just so you're aware, I don't believe that you can specially appear for a for a non-attorney, at least in California. Now, I've seen people do it. I've seen a lot of lawyers do it. That I do work for a lawyer that does it all the time, especially if the client hasn't paid yet or still owes money or something like that. He'll he'll want me to go make an appearance, specially appearing. Well, I'll specially appear for him, but it's his client, so. Eh. So, in California, I think generally speaking, probably everywhere, either you're representing the client or you're not. A special appearance, generally speaking, is either you're specially appearing for the client to challenge jurisdiction, meaning when you say I'm specially appearing, meaning you're not actually uh, making a general appearance, you are appearing solely to contest jurisdiction. That's that's one acceptable use of the word special appearance. The other acceptable use of a special appearance is to say, you know, I am here, I'm specially appearing here for the attorney of record who's unable to make it today. So I'm not actually stepping in as the attorney of record. I am appearing for the attorney of record who is representing the client. Those are really the uh, acceptable terms of special appearance. And if you if you look, you can see the, the court wasn't really interested in any reindeer games, as it were. I know we're in the middle of summer, so a Christmas reference probably is going to fall flat, but that's where my mind went, so you get to go there with me. You're welcome. So the court was, uh, was telling the attorney that he had to get his substitution of attorney on record. Well, we'll see how that goes. That attorney doesn't sound like an inexpensive attorney. Most LA attorneys aren't inexpensive attorneys in my experience. Another fun thing of note is somebody uh, noted in my Discord that uh, that uh, D -D 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 Darcy <laughs> apparently uh, reviewed Chili's uh, reply to the state's opposition to Chili's appeal in the Nevada criminal case. And apparently, allegedly, I don't know, I don't watch Darcy, I don't really care, uh, but I just find it fucking humorous that people are like, hey, his analysis came out after yours, and it kind of mirrors your analysis. <laughs> it's almost like maybe he does watch you. <laughs> I've fucked you up, Darcy, forever, forever. You will be known as the guy who, who copies a first-year family law attorney and then tries to church it up by wearing a tie and changing... <laughs> What was it? it was something like trial attorney tears apart Chili de Castro. I mean, if you have to say that you are so fucking good that you're tearing it apart, if your audience can't figure it out without you putting it in the title, well, <laughs> oh, Jesus, Jesus, Darcy, the man who wanted to be Rakeda but lacked the charisma, the substance, substance abuse issues, and uh, the sexual shenanigans to uh to actually pull off a a rick a ricada <laughs> anyway i'm rambling have a great friday <laughs>